Election results are coming in tonight after the polls closed just two hours ago in the District 4 County Supervisor election. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday night. I'm Kathleen Bade. Tonight's special election would decide who would replace former County Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. He resigned earlier this year amid a sexual harassment scandal, and now four hopefuls are hoping to finish his term. Here's a look at the latest numbers coming into the Fox 5 newsroom. You can see that City Councilwoman Monica Montgomery Stepp is in the lead at this hour with 41% of the vote. She is a Democrat, followed by next in line, Amy Reichardt, a Republican, with 29% of the vote. But you can see she is neck and neck with Janessa Goldbeck at this hour. If no one gets 50% of the votes, the top two vote getters will participate in a runoff election this fall. Our Sarah Allegre starts us off live in El Cerrito tonight with all the details. Well, Kathleen, we talked to some of the top leading candidates tonight. San Diego City Council member Monica Montgomery Stepp being one of them. We're currently at her watch party right now. As you can see, a significant turnout, still lots of excitement here behind me. She is leading in the polls tonight. You said it just over 40% of the vote. But like you said, nothing is set in stone quite yet. Candidates still holding out hope for the majority of the vote to decide who will fill that vacant District 4 seat. I know that this race has to be certified in 10 days, and so we'll have a clear direction of where we want to go at that time, where we're going to enjoy being in first place tonight. It's quite the crowd in this El Cerrito backyard where supporters of Monica Montgomery step celebrate an early lead in the polls, all while keeping these issues top of mind. Housing and homelessness, those, that's my number one priority. That's what we'll be working on the most. And just east of that area is Republican candidate and small business owner Amy Reichert and her supporters. She's trailing behind step with nothing but optimism Tuesday night. People are already treating me as if I'm their supervisor. Yeah, that's right. People have been reaching out to me asking for help asking for help for their adult children that are struggling with mental illness and homelessness. People in the East County who have fire hazards uh, it, near their homes. Janessa Goldbeck isn't far behind. The race for District 4 comes after Fletcher stepped down as supervisor in May after a lawsuit accusing him of sexual misconduct. Whoever wins will finish out his term ending in January of 2027. Voters Tuesday say they're ready for change. A lot of issues to be dealt with and right now we're dealing with a lot of local politics that uh, sort of shenanigans going on. The current board is evenly split between two Democrats and two Republicans, so whoever wins will play a key role in deciding measures split down the aisle. We have to take advantage of that opportunity, so I feel that we are the voice for the community. According to the County Registrar of Voters, over 77,000 ballots have been cast out of the nearly 400,000 registered voters, with turnout currently totaling over 19 percent. A possibility for a runoff election is still on the table, as candidates have yet to reach 50 percent of the vote. You know, our hope was to end it tonight, but, you know, we go to a runoff and that's just fine and we'll, you know, be there to run through to November 7th. Now, a little earlier tonight, we were also at candidate Janessa Goldbeck's private watch party a little bit earlier when we were there at 830. They were waiting until the 10 o'clock election results to come out. So we are still waiting to hear from her team. We did reach out to her a couple of times within the last hour for a statement. We are still waiting on that. We haven't received it as of news time. And again, if none of the candidates get 50 percent of that vote, uh, it will then go to a runoff. The top two leading candidates that will be November 7th. And just to give you a price tag for all of this, the current special election mixed in with that runoff will cost voters around $5 million. For now, that's the latest here in El Cerrito. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.